Thank you for downloading this Real Agriculture podcast. Excite your crops with inputs from Excite Bio. Access nitrogen and phosphorus with Excite Bio's lineup of inoculants and ag biologicals. Since 2010, they've been helping farmers harness the power of the soil. Learn more at excitebio.ca. That's X I T E B I O.ca. Hi, I'm Bernard Tobin. Welcome to Real Agriculture. Today, we're talking farm machinery. Uh, we're going to take a look at some new products uh, from Saskatchewan-based Borgo Industries. And uh, to tell us about them, I am joined by Borgo's North American Sales and Marketing Lead, Colin Rush. Colin, how's it going? It's a great day, and uh, it's, uh, it's there's no snow on the ground. It's The sun is still shining. We, you know, this is great. Awesome. Well, hey, well, thanks for dropping by. Um, now, you know, you've just returned from Arizona um, where you met with your dealers and showed off some new products. So, you know, tell us about that meeting. Well, that meeting was uh, a couple full. It was uh, a celebration of our 50 years in business, uh, which we invited our, our Borgo dealer network and personnel to join us. Uh, but more importantly, it was kind of a bit of a transformational dealer meeting as well, because we were launching not only new products, and we do that every year, um, but really some transformational technology, which we'll, which we'll get into it. So we had never done anything of this scope and magnitude ever. In fact, we had never launched a, a product truly outside of Saskatchewan. Uh, so this was, a, this was a big deal for us. Um, and we had such amazing attendance. We had over 500 attendees. We had uh, dealer locations from uh, Borgo Deals representing from all Canada and the U.S. I think it was over close to about 170 locations that represent uh, Borgo uh, in, in their sales. Um, and we, we really talked about this transformational, what we call Borgo 1.0, which was everything that got us there to the first 50 years to what we call Borgo 2.0, which is mm-hmm. this, this transformational thing where we, uh, we step on the accelerator and, and, and we go with new offerings, new technologies, uh, new agronomic uh, flexibility uh, tools for our customers. Right. So, hey, let's get into it. Um, I had a chance to read a couple of the press releases, and I noticed, um, you know, several references to capacity without complexity. Um, tell us about that philosophy and, you know, and how it's reflected in the Borgo lineup. Well, I think it's no secret. You know, if you look at any producer's uh, bottom line, they are looking for that productivity. They, you know, they, they have trouble getting labor. Uh, they look at distances they have to travel. They look at their field conditions that they have to go there. And let's not, you know, let's not beat around the bush. We've had a lot of what I call capacity for, for a number of years. This isn't uh, our first, uh, our products that we've rolled out that, that are large. But in some cases, and we've had some pushback from our customers, and we've learned and evolved our products, is the simplicity wasn't there. That, you know, they were, they were sometimes complex to unfold or get from the, the transport position into the field position. Um, some of the things we, 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 we used in terms of our uh, operator inf- interfaces and controls, they were hard to learn. And they, were, uh, they had all kinds of capacity and they had all kinds of different features and benefits, but they weren't what I would call intuitively simple. Mm. Um, so this was really a theme of, of, of what we talked, this capacity without the complexity of maybe things we've done in the past, just simple, 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 and also taking that as well to the technology side is how can you get the most productivity, easy to learn, new operators, maybe somewhat untrained, uh, um, you know, field help that joins the, the farms in the spring and the fall. Uh, and this is what we, we drove that message through. Yeah. Hey, let's dig into some of these new products. Um, let's start with the new 7-plex folding 3545 Paralink hoe drill. Um, you know, it comes in 80 to 100-foot configurations. I, I guess the, star- the story starts here with productivity, right? It, it really is. Um, so, you know, this wasn't the first 100-foot drill that we have out here, but um, what we have learned, you know, even the evolution of products, um, this is this is not a compromise. This is a true Bordeaux product, you know. So this is the same thing if you want to put that 350 pounds of product uh, down the mid row whether there's urea and then another 150 pounds of, of product and and uh, starter fertilizer with your seed um, that machine is going to be able to do it without any compromises um, so what are we looking at well you know we've had a wing back design uh, fold and it was a complex wizard to go through but this machine just basically folds like a traditional machine you you either push or pull that that lever to uh, either fold or unfold that process in the field and just wait for it to finish. Mm. That is as simple as it gets to move that. Now, 
is that a new thing? No, there's large machines out there. But to do it, what I call in a cube of steel, our engineering team absolutely outdid themselves here. Uh, when you see a picture or a video of this thing folding and unfolding, you're like, how is that even possible, uh, knowing that there has to be hoses run and air kits? And and that's not all we, we did. We this is, this is a large machine. We put ridiculous amounts of flotation on here and they're a new high-float axle. Uh, we lengthened the frame in order to give it uh, more trash flow so you aren't stopping and having to basically raise your openers, uh, basically circle around and then go back into the, into the, the same row. Everything we've done is to maximize their productivity. Right. Some of the producers running this uh, this unit here um, with our, our prototypes uh, were, were just amazed. They were up to 56 acres uh, per hour, and that was including oh. their fills. So that was stopping to fill. That was their average uh, 56 acres per hour is what they average with their fills. If you take their fills out of it, they're well north of 60 acres per hour in productivity on the, mm -hmm. on the large 100 foot. But again, you know, that capacity without the complexity was key. Uh, we've added a ton of features here. And there's one more, and it's kind of a neat one when people learn about it, is who's going to buy a used 100 foot? It's obviously the, the, the guys, the large producers that want a, a new 100 foot, but you know, is there always a market for those large machines? Well, our engineering team made this thing simple, is you whether you do it at the farm or at the dealership when they take it on trade, they can knock off the the ten foot uh, outer sections and make this a five plex eighty foot machine on the hundred, and on the eighty four foot um, seven plex they can knock those off and make it a sixty six foot uh, five plex. So again, we're giving maximum configurability, um, you know, for those producers and for the dealers that have to do business with Borgo. Hmm. Hey, let's talk about um, the wing tank. Another. Um uh, <laughs> reveal from Arizona. Um, an option you'll be offering with the the twenty twenty six nine thousand series air carts. Um, you know, what do we have here? More capacity, right? More capacity. You know, it's it's uh, this one's a little trickier than just even the drill side because uh, usually what people say is, well, if you add more more product, you're going to add more weight, more compaction, and, and that's a huge concern. We don't, we you know, we're already kind of maximum rubber under our nine thousand i series uh, carts. However, what is neat about the wing tank is if you, it, we've had a saddle tank forever. You know, that wind is now at 44 bushels. It often comes with a bulk boom to basically lift those uh, mini bulk bags off of a, a flat deck and basically dump them in, uh, and as well as a pallet storage area. But the, the very neat thing is, is this now is at the same level uh, on that side tank we call it a wing tank now that can be loaded with the conveyor. We take all that bulk boom off the pallet storage, and now there's actually 66 bushels of usable capacity, and that's usable capacity even with that Class D canola. Um, you know, we're, we're actually closer to I think 70 or 72 bushels of actual. But now, would you believe it? There's more capacity. <clears throat> Lots of guys are using uh, even a, a tandem truck to end dump canola in now. Um, and if they want that option, they're actually getting less weight, believe it or not. So when you put that on compared to the bulk boom, uh, the saddle tank uh, full. Uh, and the storage, it's actually 2,500 pounds uh, lighter. Mm -hmm. And here's the great thing is how often does a company come out and say, we're going to give you more capacity, uh, but it's actually going to be cheaper. This will be a cheaper option for those customers um, that take this over the saddle tank with the mm -hmm. bulk boom and pallet storage. No, I uh, read somewhere that that extra 66 bushels, um, you know, uh, some guys are, you know, seeding an extra 900 acres of canola before refill. Well, you know, this this isn't uh, going back to the old days where we were afraid to put in a bag of canola at a time and hoping that we were at the right rate. With our Dynacal system, we've got load cells on that uh, and, and as well as cameras in the tank that uh, track down to a tenth of a pound. You know exactly what you're putting on at all times, uh, and that is designed to basically meter that out. So with confidence, so as we say, fill her up and let her go. And again, if you have to fill only one uh, once per day uh, in a, you know, or w once even every two days, depending on your operation, um, that's again, capacity without complexity. Hmm. Hey, let's, uh, let's talk about technology. Uh, you know, we're seeing an evolution here. You know, you're becoming a technology company. Um, tell us about Borgo Intelligent Control, um, a, a wireless seed controller. Well, you know, no secret there. I mean, there's there's been competitors out there with uh, wireless-based, uh, tablet-based uh, seed controllers for a while. <laughs> and we certainly could have, you know, caught up. We could have put those in. It is uh, one thing that our, our customers have been requesting for a long time, our dealers as well. 
Um, but what we decided was we were looking at the future. We were looking at saying, well, what is what is the, those key drivers? And one thing we looked at was the data integration. We looked at, you know, in mixed fleet operations where people are running one you know, brand of mainline tractor, whether John Deere or CNH or, or Kloss, and they're they're looking at Borgo integration. It was not, I would say, easy to get the data back into those uh, those data operation centers, whether it's JD Ops or Field Ops with CNH. So what we've actually done now with Borgo Intelligent Control, at least in this first iteration here, this will be a completely seamless integrated uh, into those task dealer the, the tractor task controllers. What that means is the tablet, which is wireless, which is great. Uh, we'll actually just do the advanced, what I call drill functions. So we'll do Dynacal, Packmaster, or Liftmaster, basically, and they'll control the metering. Mm. Everything else, the path planning, the machine-to-machine communication, the telematics, uh, the uh, section timings, and even variable rate or manual, or manual rates will actually be done by the tractor. So what that does is that it gives you complete uh, integration. Customers are already used to this with um, everything from boundaries with their with their tractors, whether it's with John Deere or CNH, same thing with the sprayer, same thing with the comlines. This now allows us to basically leap ahead to that full integration uh, with mainlines. And again, huge capacity, but more importantly, we designed this entire app around simplicity. Um, there was a quote, I think it's actually in the press release, mm-hmm. it says that this is not your grandfather's uh, seed controller, but, but, but he, he could run one. And, and that's exactly what we saw out of Phoenix last week is we had older salesmen, older dealer principals that came, even some customers that said, hey, I could do this. And, and you know, for that to be on the Borgo system, let me tell you, that was a, that was a quantum leap in, in, in terms of us uh, throwing out the book and starting fresh with a white piece of paper on how to make this thing simple. Mm-hmm. Hey, final thing, and uh, I want to talk about, you know, in Arizona again, um, you rolled out um, the Borgo Builder, you know, a, a tool to help explore your product offering and customize equipment. Tell us um, how uh, that can benefit your customers. You know, well, certainly in Western Canada, we have the benefit of, a, you know, 50 years of history. A lot of people know a lot of our options, and we have very, very uh, well-informed and educated uh, sales reps and even our customers. As we push out to new areas, uh, we, we have more and more options, and it, it's really hard to actually go through all the options, even educate what should I be selling, what's even available from Borgo. And if you always have to wait for a sales representative to give you a quote on something or research an option, um, it, it's tough, and you may look elsewhere. What we've done is actually put a customer-facing pricing and configurator uh, online. It's going live here next week. And again, simple and easy. In minutes, you'll be able to bo- build a configuration of any Borgo uh, air drill uh, or uh, or uh, Coulter drill, um, any 9,000, 8,000 series tank, or any of the other products here that Borgo offers, uh, you'll be able to do it instantly. And it'll build a list price configuration. It'll also give you access and point you to the website to explain different options. What is the difference between this opener and this one? Um, which might I, I, I like more? Uh, again, our customers are usually the smartest people out there and know what they need for their own operation. We're going to get basically unleash them and give them the power to configure that. Then very simply, the dealer either can save that quote, print it off, um, and bring it into their, their dealer, or they can go on our dealer locator and say, hey, you know, could you send me, I'd like a quote on this on this product. But it's designed to, again, um, give our dealers, talk about, you know, that, that, that simplicity, that ease of doing business with Borgo. Uh, we wanted to take that to the next level. I think we've just mm. uh, knocked out of the park based on the feedback we've seen. Great stuff, Colin. Uh, where can uh, farmers go for more info? You can always uh, check us out at any of the farm shows. I know uh, uh, Red Deer's Agritrade is going on right now, but um, go to our website at borgo.com. It has all the information from our products to our tools and, and even our agronomic section. Mm. Well, good stuff, sir. Hey, uh, thanks for taking the time to share your, uh, your news with Real Ag. Um, we'll see you maybe a little later this year, but certainly next year. Absolutely. Thank you for having us.